Do you have a home theater that you want to feel like a real legit cinema? In this video, I'm gonna give you my 10 tips on how to make that happen. Let's get to it. All right, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to make a budget. Everyone has a budget, great or small. And making a budget helps you see what you can reasonably afford. Now, it takes time to build a home theater the way that you want it. Don't be afraid to buy used electronics. Home theater gear is one of the few things that you can buy used, but still holds value. And it will last you a long time. And it's usually easy to resell and get some of your money back. Now, don't try to buy everything all at once either. Save your money, do your research, and save up for the equipment that you really want. The entrance to your home theater is the first thing that people will see when they enter your home theater. Now, whether you have a closed off, dedicated home theater or an open floor plan, there are so many ways that you can make the entrance to your theater feel like a real cinema. So, be creative and watch different videos and content creators to get ideas. Smart lighting. There has never been more options for integrating smart lighting into your theater that are not only easy to set up, but also cost effective. Smart lighting combined with home automation basically gives you endless customization and integration to make your theater cool and modern, but also gives you a huge boost in convenience factor. Phones, tablets, smartwatches, and smart speakers all give you the complete customization of smart lights and home automation. Now, if you want that true cinema feel and immersion, you're gonna wanna go with a projector and a projector screen. While larger size TVs, typically 75 inches and above, are becoming more readily available and more affordable, to get that true cinema immersion, you just can't beat a projector and a screen. Now, there are many home cinema projectors that will let you go up to 300 inches in size if you have the room for it. And this is something that consumer TVs just can't offer. Now, while you might be thinking about projecting that 300 inch image on your white wall, and it can work and it may be content for some, walls can and do have minor imperfections that you will notice. So make sure you invest in a good projector and a projector screen. There is nothing worse than walking into an amazing home theater with awesome audio and video and then sitting down in an uncomfortable couch or seat. Why would you spend all that money if you're gonna be uncomfortable? This is why you should invest in home theater seating. There are so many great options on the market that offer luxurious Italian leather that are incredibly comfortable and that don't break the bank. Like Valencia home theater seating. Valencia's goal as a seating company is to provide beautifully crafted and designed products that always make the owner feel proud to own. And even more importantly, Valencia believes that their seat should improve the quality of their clients' lives by alleviating back pain and providing proper ergonomic support. And I can personally attest to this as I own two of the theater seats in my home theater and I'm also an affiliate. If you're looking for premium home theater seating, Check out my affiliate link in the description, and if you make a purchase, let them know that Haterade Cowboy referred you. Valencia, with its over 10 years of experience, offers 22 premium theater seating models, motorized lumber support on select models, ergonomic designs, handcrafted materials, personal customization options tailored to you, and with the use of solid wood construction, metal recline mechanisms, and high quality foam, means the chairs will hold their shape and comfort for decades to come. Hey, what's up? You've made it this far in the video, so welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. If this is your first time visiting the channel and you're enjoying the content that I produce here, why don't you go ahead and do me a solid, hit the subscribe button, let your friends know about the channel, and hit the bell notification so you know when I post new content. And if you're enjoying this video, why don't you go ahead and hit the like button. It'll help the channel grow and I would greatly appreciate it. All right, well, 
I guess that's it. I'll let you get back to the video. The stadium seating will also transform your room to make it feel like a real cinema. Building a riser is the best way to add theater seating, but not everyone has the room or the skills to do this. So, for those of you who don't have room in your theater to build an actual riser, SeatUp.com has you covered. Thankfully, there are theater seating companies that offer elevated back row riser theater seating chairs as well. Now, these theater seats have risers built into the actual chair, like the Turbo XL700 by Octane Seating, and the Flex HR series, as well as the Azure LHR series, all by Octane Seating. You can spend all the money in the world on the best speakers that money can buy, but if you don't have any acoustic treatment in your theater, then those very pricey speakers will sound super janky. This is one of the most, if not the most important aspect of a home theater. Some people have spent tens of thousands just on acoustic treatment, and there's a reason for it. Every room behaves differently with acoustics. My room size, dimensions, and speaker placement all contribute to room acoustics. And adding acoustic treatment can be super easy and cheap with DIY options, or you can buy acoustic panels and bass traps pre-made. One online store that I have used for years and love their products is Acoustamac. Every Acoustamac acoustic panel or sound absorber is handmade with great attention to detail and the highest craftsmanship standards. Acoustamac is one of the few acoustic treatment manufacturers to offer acoustic art panels, which you display either your own custom art or anything from their stock image art gallery, which contains an entire category of images perfect for home theater setups. And don't forget to check out their home theater room packages. Now this one is very important. While personalizing your theater room won't exactly improve the sound or the acoustics, it will make it unique. Your home theater is a reflection of you, so make it apparent by personalizing your theater to what you like. Don't worry about what other people think or what they'll say about it. It's not their theater, it's yours and personalizing your theater will just make it feel that much more like a cinema with a theme. Home automation. Where would we be without it? Now, this is another way you can customize your home theater, by automating it. Now, we've all been to the theater, and right before the movie starts, all the lights slowly dim down or turn off, and the chair rails and step lights come on to a low setting so that your pathway is illuminated just enough if someone needs to get up and walk out of the theater. And now you can do this in your home theater. Whether you're using HomeKit, Amazon Alexa, or Google Home, there are so many options and smart home combinations that are available to automate your home theater with complete control with your phone, tablets, and voice commands. Now, while you probably won't see any equipment racks inside a commercial theater, trust me, they have them. They just aren't visible to the public. Equipment racks are very useful because it allows you to put all your components in one place. And mini racks offer customization for cooling, wiring, and remote control from another room. Now, this is gonna allow you to free up massive amounts of space and tidy up all that wiring that comes along with multiple components. Get yourself a universal remote. Don't rely on 10 remotes to control your components. A universal remote is one of the best investments that you can make for your home theater, and I promise you, you will not regret it. Unfortunately, one of the biggest makers in universal remotes, Harmony, they are no longer making their famous and reliable remotes. So if you have one, hold on to it. We don't know what the future holds, and there looks to be some promising universal remote options on the horizon, but until then, I'm hanging on to all three of my Harmony remotes. So this has been my thoughts and tips on how to make your home theater feel like you're at a legit cinema. Now, maybe you agreed with some of the things that I said, or maybe you didn't agree. Why don't you go ahead and let me know in the comments and let me know if you have some tips on how to make your home theater feel like you're at a real legit cinema. Thank you guys for watching. 
Thank you for supporting the channel. I just hit 500 subscribers and I'm really thankful for that. It's been about six months since I started this channel and I'm, I'm really happy at the growth. I mean, I'm right at six months, 500 subscribers. That's, that's great. Now my next goal is 1000 subscribers. So if you want to help out the channel, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification. So you know when I post new content and if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Hitting the like button not only helps the channel grow, but it also helps the YouTube algorithm so that other people can find this video. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I'm Hater at Cowboy, and this is Hater at Cowboy Cinema.